Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Most of my garden is filled with the cool weather vegetables right now. The weather's warm, my peppers, my tomatoes are ready to go out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform my garden over here. This is an herb garden I've done a couple of times. And what I found is I just don't use the amount of herbs that come out of the ground grown herbs. I like growing them in containers. It's a little bit easier. So I'm going to take all these herbs out cut them back, put them into containers, give some away, but I'm going to transform this section into a tomato and pepper garden, something that I will use more regularly and it will give me another four foot by eight foot space to grow tomatoes. I'm going to show you how I go through the process and remember it's never too late to just change up your garden when you feel like you know you've given something a try, didn't work out as you wanted, change it over, move stuff around. So I did the uh, first level of really taking this garden apart. You can see my hardscapes in there, rocks, clay pots. Cut all the herbs back. I know what I'm going to be able to pull out of there. I've got sage over there on the left, parsley, thyme, chives, oregano, purple comb flower, lemon balm. Uh, that's St. John's wort. I'll probably take out the lamb's ear too. Maybe drop containers in there where the herbs will grow and I'll mulch that up nicely. I'll cut my lavender back. But the motivation is to really transform this site into something I'm going to use more often and that's going to be for cherry tomatoes mostly and peppers in this area for this year. So here's all my transplant plants ready to go in and get out into the garden so that's why I want more space. Again second level of uh, demolition rocks. All the herbs are just dug out in big balls thrown in that container. They'll stay like that for you know several days of perfectly fine as long as they don't dry out. So I'm going to drop in about four bags of uh, compost manure whatever I have around some topsoil, make that mix that you've seen me make um, a couple of weeks ago. But this is the space. I think it's going to look really, really good. Let me get to turning this over, mixing the soil in. I'm not going to show you that process. You can uh, check the link video to show you how I make my um, raised bed mixes and my container mixes. And that's basically what I'm putting in here. Same for the uh, organic fertilizer setup, just standard 555 or less um, NPK organic fertilizer. Soil and amendments are in. I turned it over. I'm going to plant on this side over there. I'm going to actually grow some tomatoes from seeds. I'm going to show you how to do that this way. A lot of videos show you how to make transplants. We're going to just start with seed back there. But it's looking pretty good. I am going to uh, finish this up, mulch it, get my plants in, clean it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. But again, remember, if you got something in your yard you don't like anymore, change it up, move it around, and you'll really be pleased with the results. So it's done. These are herbs that are going to go into containers later this week. This was the herb garden. So now I have in my hot peppers. I have starting up in the left corner flaming or uh, facing heaven, red cayenne, poblanos, that's an arch habanero, peppercini in the middle, Anaheim in the back, over to the right, jalapeno, jalapeno, scotch bonnet. Two tomatoes are back there, the Floridade and the Ace 55 heat tolerant tomatoes that I'm trying out this year. And this is going to be the spot where I actually start a tomato from seed in the ground, which is something you don't see a lot of videos on. We're so into, um, you know, starting transplants, but I'm going to do one right there. Some of the herbs that got put out here were the thyme, or now in those boxes, oregano. Cleaned it up, put all my broken pots in there. I like the way they look. And this is the space that used to be the herb garden, changed over to really be more functional and produce more for me. And I would encourage you to make changes in your garden. If you have an idea and you'd like to make something happen, go ahead and give it a try. I really like how this turned out. Please check out my uh, seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com and thanks for watching my videos.